This video is sponsored by Keen. Everyone deserves a psychic reading. Psychic readings can provide the breakthrough that you never knew you needed. Keen advisors are available 24 seven. There's always someone online. Keen provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors who give guidance and insight on life's challenges, clarity and love, relationships, career, and more. As a new Keen customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Just use the URL trykeen.com slash Vanessa Moon. Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Vanessa Moon Tarot. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are revisiting, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are here. This reading is timeless. Whenever you hear it is when you're meant to hear it. So I don't put any timelines on it, although it is mid-January 2022. If you hear this in a week, it's your reading. If you hear this in a year, it's your reading, okay? Also, please be aware that, uh, you know, I'm going to give you four messages, okay? I'm just going to look at your love life primarily, but I'm also going to clarify it and, you know, see if I see something else, I'll call it out, okay? All right, let's just dive into Sagittarius. This is the Tarot of Mythical Moments. I'm going to clarify with this, uh, the Joker Tarot. And let's see, I'm going to get you some advice, wisdom of the Oracle. And I'll see what else. Okay. All right. So let's begin. All right. Let's see. Four messages for Sagittarius. Maybe five. We'll see. Four messages for Sagittarius. Four of Swords. Okay. Taking a rest. Taking a break. Reflection. The moon could be really affecting you guys right now. We have a full moon like tomorrow. Cancer. Uh, this is taking a break. You're taking a break. Time for meditation. Rest heals. It's also a truce. Wanting to, things to just be calm. Let's see. Four of Pentacles, another four. Maybe some of you are in your home. You want to just be at peace in your home right now. Uh, you also could be feeling like you have to hold and save your money. This is your second house energy. Um, you could be feeling like you're just tired of working and you want to just enjoy um, your peace right now. You've been working hard. You've been stacking your money and you're finally getting to a place where you could actually take a break. Or some of you need to get up because... You're going to have to get up soon and try to earn more. King of Cups. Ah, so now we're getting a storyline about your person. Somebody who could have been holding their feelings back, not wanting to give. That person who's been holding their feelings back is considering opening up to you right now after much introspection. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have the Tower card here. It's going to come as a shock to you out of nowhere. And then one more. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, Profession of Love. So somebody's going to be coming fast six of pentacles and try to balance things out with you even ask you out for um a, a cup of coffee a date meet up or a practical conversation practical conversation this also could be a gift of money buying you something buying you a ring or something that solidifies the connection and makes it um, makes it steady and sturdy. This also could be somebody's contributing to your bills, okay? You could be feeling like you were just, you could have had words with this person. Ooh, you could have told this person where to go if they didn't get rid of their nasty ways. And now they feel like, oh yeah, you're, I want to be in a relationship with you. Some people need to get told off in order to know um, their, your boundaries, right? So this could be created boundaries for yourself. And you've been holding your feelings to yourself, and then you had this big blow up, and now you're getting everything you want because you you created boundaries for yourself, and you let people know where you stand, you let someone know where you stand, and you're not going to give off anything, um, unless you feel you're being it's being reciprocated, and then because of that you get this soup, this love confession, this profession of love out of nowhere, shocking love bomb. Oh, nice. Okay, you have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, specifically Libra as well. Some of you could be dealing with, could have started Libra season. So what I'm seeing is there's a need for you to fall back, hold back, and take a rest because somebody is going to come in with a shocking like love confession or outpouring of emotion, and they're going to ask you to um, really level with you, level with them, and let them know where this is going if you want to be in a relationship or not. Okay. And then some of you, I mean, you could have just been taking a break, not dating anyone, and just out of nowhere, somebody shockingly comes in and asks you out, and this could be true love. Okay, it's very straightforward. This is like, all the readings lately are, are very straightforward. I like that. So let's clarify. Let's clarify, Sagittarius. Let's clarify. This is the Joker Tarot, okay? So clarify the four swords as you're just here reflecting on the past. You could have just cut someone off. 
okay? Could have been a Capricorn. Um, and you're thinking about, you know, your life and where it's going, and you're not giving to anything that's not giving back to you. Okay, I find the four of swords is the page of wands, the nine of coin. Ooh, four cards came out there. Devil, yeah, this is that same energy. There could have been something that you were tempted and stuck on, something that was super needy and clingy. And um, only maybe even wanted you for money, and they just they could have cheated on you or repeatedly. They could have even had a child with someone else. Some of you, unfortunately, could have a miscarriage, um, and or just they mm, they failed to let something grow that you thought was gonna grow. And now you're getting news that this person is, or you could be newly single, or this person is dating again, and it's hurt. It hurt you. Okay, and but you're getting good news about my, uh, money coming in, that's for sure. Something you could have worked hard for, but you're attached to someone that wasn't opening up. Let's see, let's clarify this four of pentacles. Why the four of pentacles here for Sagittarius? You could, yeah, you could have been you could have been single for a while, and you could feel like you know, you just keep getting with people who just use you. Okay, I'll just say that. Well, you can feel like now you have this Virgo um, Scorpio energy coming in that it wants to open up to you because they feel like they're feeling the pressure like to make things happen with you because you're a catch Sagittarius. King of Pentacles, somebody wants to invest in you. It couldn't be the government. Y'all have a like, government energy here. It, let me pause. If this is about work, um, you could have people, you could have been noticed for your hard work at, at your job and you could be getting promotion. Okay. Um, if you work in government or positions of authority, um, you could be tasked to manage a building or a whole structure or a whole crew of people because you're the best for the job. Okay. Side note from that. Oh, that was a side note. Back to the main story. So, Four of Pentacles. So, somebody who was holding back from you, they wanted to invest in you, but they want, they're coming in for a second chance even because they feel like, you know, they have to make things happen with you. There's a lot of urgency in this reading. I'm feeling, ugh. There's a lot of urgency. Page of Pentacles. They could have a child or they could want a child with you. What's the King of Cups? They want to help you though. Why do they want to help Sagittarius with the King of Cups? The Sun card. They feel like you're just so generous. You're so loving. You're so kind. You're so sweet. You're empathetic. You're caring. You're passionate. And they feel like they've traveled the world and they've never found anyone that shines as bright as you. And they would be a fool to leave you behind. And they have an outpouring of emotion. They want to give to you. King of Swords. They've thought about it for a long time. And they now know the truth. They know the truth. They know what they want and they want to talk to you and have a serious conversation about this the tower card the tower card they've learned some major life lesson i don't know what happened but they learned some major life lesson sagittarius and they feel like um knight of swords reverse i'm gonna upright these so you can see them king of cups reverse yeah they feel like you know you have unrequited love with them and they feel like they just have to get to you now and tell you how much they love you again they feel like it's a pure innocent crush they've had on you for some time some of y'all could be same sex and they feel like it's, everything is just, it's a revelation. They just know. They know now. It's like, no, it's a shock. And it's going to shock you too. Like, this person, again, could be a person with a child. There's a lot of children here. Um, but this person feels like, no, I know. I know that, you know, I'm ready to offer Sagittarius my love. I don't care how it comes out. I don't care how I say it. I got to speak the truth. I've held back for too long. Let's see what we got here. Eight of Swords. They've been thinking about this nonstop. They have not been able to get rid of you out of their head. They have not. They knew they were in denial in the past, and now they're knowing, no, I can't be in denial anymore. I have to push this thing forward, or I have to at least try. Give me the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Sagittarius? Why does this person feel the Knight of Cups towards you? Three of Wands. Page of Swords. They've been stalking you. They've been stalking you. They haven't said anything. They've just been waiting. Ten of Pentacles and Death could be a Scorpio involved. You also had Aquarius here and Capricorn. So you you could feel like um, you know you've been waiting. This person is waiting, stalking you. They they're ready. They change now. They're, this could be a commitment uh, phobic person in the past. They were scared to really plant roots, plant seeds. They they might have come from a family situation where they might have had a lot of death in their family. Um, and they feel like, you know, they, they don't want to cling to things as things leave them. Things, you never know when things are going to be gone. But this person is not realizing the value of telling someone you love them. Maybe they had a death in their family. 
Um, doesn't have to be, but they feel they could feel like everything they've tried to launch it never takes off because they're too attitudinal about it or in denial or think they know everything, and they're finally realizing like their ego needs to die because they um, and figuring out something long term and they have history with you. They have to be willing to like look deep within and themselves and release the parts of themselves that hold back or run away from love or just tell everyone they love them and not really put any investment in. So they're ready to invest in you. Sorry guys, my battery died. Okay, so with the Six of Pentacles, um, clarified by the Justice, the Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords. So somebody had the clarity that they want a new beginning with you. Could be a new person too, guys. Um, I don't usually say that, but you have this impulsive new person coming in. I think you have a choice here because the wild card at the end. You have a new choice. You have two people here. Yeah. So you have one person realizing that they want they want you back, and it shocks you because at the same time you have this new person. Uh, coming in with this huge change of pace and they want to they instantly know they want to be with you they instantly know you're like the kind of person that they should plant roots with and settle down with or even marriage they feel like there's something destined about um your about you and them like you're supposed to be together okay so six of pentacles so this this in this case is giving to two Sagittarius you will be giving to two okay you're gonna you're gonna feel this out because you have the Queen of Pentacles here. So the Queen of Pentacles means you're gonna focus on yourself. You're not focused on any one person. You're gonna be giving to yourself so much that you're gonna allow these people to court you, and you're gonna choose wisely after that. Four of Wands. You will be in a relationship though if you want it, or you'll have some type of huge um, level up in your life that's gonna make you. It's gonna make you celebrate. Some of you could be excelling at work, getting a new position, or even um, working in somewhere that you feel more aligns this is like event planning um home events also uh selling homes okay some of you could be doing something let me see sagittarius because you have this queen of swords energy you have to make a decision eight of swords you're gonna be in your head about it yeah you have to let someone go you're, oh look straight up i feel like i'm seeing you're letting this toxic person go because you have twos here two of swords you have to choose I feel like you're going to like someone who's more toxic, release from your life. They don't have to be toxic. They could be uh, a Capricorn. But either way, you're releasing someone where they mirror the old cycle you were in, where you just stayed unhappy. And the universe is blessing you. Yeah, you're seeing like, you know, you don't want to stay unhappy anywhere. You don't want... You're 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 enlightened to the fact that you were in a, in a bad cycle. And you don't want to... Bad 10 years even, or bad couple years where you feel like you were just clinging to something that hoping it would work right so now that you've been investing in yourself you're not you're not wanting that old type of energy anymore so if somebody's bringing you that old energy you don't want it but i strongly feel like you're really curious about this new person as well so let's see what your advice is sagittarius let's see what your advice is that was a wild card at the end clean it up so that's what I'm saying. You're like going to be cleaning up the old baggage or the old way of thinking about relationships and being clinging on and holding and wishing and hoping on to delusions or dreams. What else is advice for Sagittarius? And being fair. You're going to give everyone a chance to shine and align with the energy that you are now bringing to the table. That's really good, Saji. What else? What's your advice of love? What's your advice of love? trust Ooh, this is a, this situation is calling for you, for you to have faith and you deserve love you are lovable pick the person that you feel you just it just met it just makes sense and know that pick the person that makes you feel like the the lovable entity that you are okay you deserve this you deserve to be sometimes guys we deserve to have a choice meaning like we deserve for that old person to come back and we deserve to tell them no so that we get this closure but you don't not that you needed it but it's kind of like I don't know like sometimes the universe is blessing you saying no you were right this person did love you and now you see why they weren't right for you and you get the chance to just you know let them down gently so there's no karma left over and then some of them some things you get oh no you deserve for somebody to just come in and instantly know you're the one as well and choose you and you get to enjoy this from day one and not be in this kind of back and forth push and pull of unknown energy right so enjoy this Sagittarius I hope you are doing well and I will see you on the flip side bye bye